All right, everybody, welcome back. We just finished the uh, Great Collectathon, and now we're going to clear out the biggest section of the map in the game, uh, Meridia. I'm also going to show off what I consider to be the best visual effect in the game. The same as how the shot there. Now, nothing will happen until I move, but the minute I move... Hey, that's cool. <laughs> welcome to Meridia. This is nothing but water, which is why you don't want to blow that up until you have the gravity suit. Yeah, it's basically a giant fish tank. So what so, is Meridia? Uh, the water area. Did okay. you know the grapple beam has secret powers? No. These take several shots with the normal beam that I have right now. Oh, you just kill them one shot with the... Why is that? Uh, my... I don't think... I don't think a reason's ever been given, but my suspicion is these are water-based enemies, the grapple beam's electrical-based, you know... Uh, and if you play Pokemon enough, you know... Or, you know, physics. Take your pick. Yeah. Or if you've ever been in the bathtub and tried to make toast. You guys have never... Uh, ah, have never I got it! Ooh, so I just did a super jump to get these missiles. It is a one block gap because you pass a bunch of ledges on the way, but that is the only way to get that because the block that's directly underneath that, well, it's a speed, it's a speed block. So that's the only way to get those missiles is to do that super jump. Um, there's a you, piece of moss that stands out amongst the other ones where you jump from. Yeah, It I, gives you a visual marker. Yeah, I, there's, a, there's a piece of kelp seaweed, take your pick, that I use as a visual marker to line myself up. Um, so that does help. Okay, so I saw this in the last room, and I was wondering how we were going to get here. And the funny thing is, you don't even need the x-ray scope, because you watch the creatures. You see the creature go in, yeah, but there's you, no tunnel reveal. Yeah, the, the crab that's right there that I, I pass on the way down, he actually goes into this tunnel, so the game does show you that it's there. Mm -hmm. I just fell too fast for you to see it, but he's actually getting ready to go in just there. He doesn't actually go to the next room, though, so he comes back out, too, so it's like, what? Now, can we kill those ones? Uh, not yet. Okay. So the next item I'm gonna get is the, the most horse pucky item in the game. And you'll, 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 you'll see why. Okay. Now, is this the one that you said was like the dumbest? Yeah. Okay, this is that one. Wow. Because the, the, that giant turtle down there, you can actually ride the turtle and it goes up, but doesn't go up high enough for you to x-ray scope that part of the wall. Okay. So how you would ever know that's there, I, I, I don't know. Okay. I have no clue. <laughs> somebody somebody bought a guide, a strategy I mean, guide. pretty much. Now, speed booster is an exception to not being able to kill them because speed booster kills just about anything that isn't a boss. <laughs> okay. Uh, those fish, do those fish have a name? Uh, Skulteras. Okay. Because I think I, I, I remember those from Prime. Right? Um, I don't know if they were in Prime, but they were definitely in Fusion. Oh, I was too far ahead on the ledge. Let's try that again. There we go. Nice. That's just the fastest way to get up there. I mean, that little floaty enemy, he actually acts as a grapple point, and you can use him to get up. But the grapple beam, it's it when you let go and a swing, it's a tangential arc. So you like if you don't have your timing perfect, you're just gonna go off in a direction you don't want to go in or have the wrong speed, and it's just not gonna work. <laughs> Cause with 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 blocks that aren't attached to like scenes or anything, you actually can go in a full circle, which I will be showing off later. Yeah, it's actually one of the coolest things you can do with the grapple beam. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really do that. Oh, uh, this is the only room you'll see those particular little fly-like enemies in. Oh, and those little snails you see popping out of the ground with the, sh the spikes on their shells and everything, they also have a super creative name. They are called Ouches. Okay. O-W-T-C-H, uh, straight from the, the the manual from Super Metroid, for the English version anyways. They are called Ouches. Probably uh, like a translation error or something. Uh, who knows? Why would they be called that? Because when you step on them, the first noise you make is, Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these, these were... Writers ahead of their time. Oh my goodness, Christian, Truly. you have no idea. In the 90s. When the people say the Golden Age video games, 90s, I mean, right there. I won't lie, though. There's something for, for both of us about the games in the 90s that Super Mario World, Sonic, Link to the Past. 
Oh, such a good um, Zelda game. Probably one of the best Zelda games ever. Obviously, Super Metroid Chrono Trigger. Great oh, RPG. Oh, that's still considered one of the best RPGs ever, you know? I, I mean, and it's not to discount the any other eras. There's just something special about the, the mm -hmm. 90s. Now, I wish I could, I wish I didn't have to use these power bombs as much as I do because coming up, I'm going to need it for a boss fight. So this is, the, this, this is the pipe room. Uh, it's going to be kind of our central hub for most of Meridia. We're going to be back here a couple of times. It looks like a nightclub version of uh, that, like, Super Mario game. Where, like, the th you know the one I'm talking about? Where, like, they, the things would come out of the pipes and you're, like, in the sewers. Uh-huh. And mm -hmm. the, there's, like, the PAL block. I'm doing a terrible oh, job. Oh, no, that, no that, you're, what you're referring to is just Mario Brothers. Okay. Before so it became Super Mario Brothers. Uh, these, I, I, I'm sure these enemies have a name, but considering they're black and white and they have beaks and everything, I call them penguins nails. Penguins nails? Snails. snails. Oh, snails. Again, that's not the official way, that's just the fast way to get the, get up there. <laughs> Meet Mach Troys, the, super Met the uh, Space Pirate's first attempt at cloning Metroids. Um, super weak, <laughs> as you can tell. Yeah. Now, one of the things you should note visually about them is that they, and Daniel pointed this out last night to me, so they have one nucleus instead of three. Instead of three. Mm. So this is a really neat trick that actually is also shown off in the intro. If you have just the charge beam and one other beam selected and then hit, you have power bomb selected, uh, you get a special little uh, attack and it's different for each beam. I'm using wave beam because it's the most powerful single beam I have. And eventually this guy starts moving super fast and trying to hit him with like super missiles and everything is horrible. If I can get through this whole fight without firing a single super missile, I'll have done this fight well. This is one of those is like you just gotta hope you get lucky. Mm -hmm. Cause every time those little things start coming on the screen, I consume a power bomb. Which is why I wish I had more of them coming into this room. And you can only hit him in the head. Okay. Wow. Then. So that was Bot Twoom. Uh, the mini boss of Meridia. That was actually not a terrible bot to fight. I've had better, but I've had worse. <laughs> I've now, had so you much know, worse. Are you short super missiles? Because you're at 40 and you should be at 45. Um. There was the super missiles right before it. Maybe I'm... I mean, I have be at full super missiles right now. And if you blinked and missed it, I actually morph ball into that tiny little hole there. <laughs> I'm not going to get another energy tank until after I beat Ridley. Is Ridley the final boss? Uh, he's the final. Of, he's, he's the final of the four bosses. Okay. So, but if you look, the Metroids only have the single nucleus there. Mm. They also don't cling to you when they grab you, unlike Metroids, which you know, when they grab you, they don't. They don't let go. They don't. You have to lay like a bunch of bombs to get them to let go. They also died one hit of the uh, grapple beam. Ah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the sand because you move really slow in the sand. You also sink into it. One might say it's slow quicksand. It. We'll be here all night, folks. Try the veal. <laughs> Don't forget to take your waiter Try away. The veal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was much better than last night. If I missed a thing of super missiles, it's your fault for not telling me earlier. It was the one right before Batum. I got that one. That was in the pipe room. So this next boss can either be the hardest boss in the game or the easiest boss if you know the secret. I'm going to do the easy way because the hard way is, is like 10 times slower. I'm not exaggerating. It is 10 times slower. <laughs> Where is the boss? He has a super long, boring intro sequence. First, you have to wait for all these guys. They're actually spelling out his name as they move across the screen. Oh, okay. Donald that, told me that last night. I forgot about and that. And not his name. It's the developer's name. Oh, sorry, the Or developer's the, name. the girl that he loves So in regards to that. Um, but this is going to be Dragon. He looks kind of like a demented shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So the only part you can actually hurt him in is hitting him in the belly. The yellow part right there. Mm -hmm. As you can see, he can move rather fast. And those little projectiles he just created, um, they block your shots. Okay. So annoying. if you do it the hard way, um, you can see why it would take forever. Because he takes a million hits. Hyperbole, but you get, the, you get the idea. But however, if you have enough energy, about four energy tanks worth, and the grapple beam. 
Oh my gosh! You, you just, just fry him. him. You actually, you actually could see his belly change colors through that, because it's all red now. Wow. So when I say it's ten times slower to do it the other way, it's not an exaggeration. <laughs> Ooh, uh, look at his kids. Aww. They're like, that's okay. <laughs> we hated him. Thank you. Don't worry. We'll, we'll see more mini dragons later. Uh, we're gonna about to make the grapple beam useless. Meet the space jump first introduced in Metroid Two. Now what is this? Just a... uh, you'll, uh, so Samus is now a Swiss roll when she flips. Oh, so is th is this the same as Screw Attack? No. Okay. It's it's like the Screw Attack from Prime, but without the attack element. Okay. Uh, the difference is there's no limit to how many times I can jump with the space jump here. Ah, uh, okay. Then you realize they couldn't do that in Prime because then it would be horribly busted. Yeah, it would be completely broken wide open. So does this basically eliminate the need to wall jump? Uh, yeah, that too. Okay. Which is not to say I'm not going to do it again, because sometimes you have to recover. Um, there's actually one place where I'm going to be using a wall jump later, because y there's a certain timing to it, and if you miss the timing for getting the space jump off, you can't do it again, so you hit the ground and start a new jump. Okay. Oh, so there's going to be a point later where I'm going to do a wall jump, because it's that's the fastest way, then rather than fall all the way back down and jump back up, it's just, eh, no. So this is a secret quicksand room. Yes and no. It's not quite secret, but it's not quite required. It's it, it it's a thing. But we're okay. back in the pipe room again. With the penguin snails. Now, do you remember the super missiles you get right before Fontoon? That was the ones I jumped up there for. Okay, so you're just short then. Um, I don't know. The only way to kill the puffers right now is for me to do a fully charge beam at them. Um, we'll be changing that very soon. We're going to hit another power spike here in a couple minutes. When you say power spike, you mean we just get way more overpowered? Just a little bit. Now, uh, I don't know if you ever played with like Game Sharks when you were a kid, but I remember in uh, Metroid Fusion, if you had the Game Shark on and the infinite life glitch on, you couldn't beat the game, because the last boss requires that you die. Mm -hmm. Are there any sort of glitches like that for this? Uh, no clue. Okay. I have no idea. See, mini dragons. Oh, there they are. Well, the funny thing is, there's a similar concept at the end of the game. We'll, we'll talk more about it. Uh, actually, yeah, if you did an infinite life thing, you would actually kind of screw yourself in a, a scripted scene later. Okay. So that might just be like a theme or trend in these games, then? I think, actually, those are called Flygons? Or Fly... Oh, Fly Eyes. Those are called Fly Eyes, if I recall correctly. Crud... I'm too late. Go back out and go back in. So this is about the closest thing you're going to come to an auto-scroller in pretty much all of Metroid. No, you just got to get in there before he does? If he hits the pipe, he has to go all the way back around the room again. Oh, that's obnoxious. So, but again, he's the only thing that can break these, for lack of a better term, sand blocks. Mm -hmm. So we're extremely grateful to him for breaking these sand blocks, whatever this little guy's name is. But we also don't like how slow he is, so he's going to be punished. <laughs> we're going to have to kill him. Don't it's spoil true. it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, he is very slow. Like I said, the closest thing you're going to find to an all scroll or an all of Metroid. Thank you, little buddy. Appreciate the help. <laughs> now, is he dead for good? No. Okay, so he comes back. He does, but he's not necessary anymore. Okay. Uh, this next item I'm about to get would actually be a lot more useful if it came online sooner in the game. This is item number what, Donald? Uh, This is like in the 80s. Yeah. We're, we're most of the way through the game, and we just now got the spring ball. And if you played Fusion, you got that was like item number three from that one boss. Yeah. Um. So it's like, yeah, it's great. Thanks. Um, I'm going to use it like six times. Later. Oh, so the blocks don't come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Does that work? That'll work. 
Again, don't want the sand. Also, in a lot of places where there aren't sand pit secret things, if you get all the way down the bottom, there's basically spikes down there that just constantly hurt you. So you don't want to sink all the way to the bottom of the sand, it hurts. <laughs> Now for the longest door animation in all of Super Metroid. It's a really big tube. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to like Sonic 2. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> the chemical plant zone. Mm -hmm. But again, just listen to the music of Meridia and it's like, it just, it feels right for the area. It's like a little uneasy. Yeah. It's got that, that ominous bass line going. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of creep factor to it with the high-pitched uh, notes. But it also just, it feels like a water area. Mm -hmm. Oh, bass, man. So with my current beam setup, I would have to kill all of those individually. One at a time. No. But we're gonna change that. We're gonna get the plasma beam. And because of the way the plasma beam is, I have a special name for it. Fear my swizzle sticks. <laughs> Got that 80s technological energy going on. That's what it looks like. So, you notice I'm only firing two beams now instead of three. There's actually a unique limitation of the power suit. You cannot have the spazzer beam and the plasma beam on at the same time. Suit can't handle it. Huh. So okay. when you eat the plasma beam, it automatically turns off. But one at a time? Nope. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, it turns out the spazzer beam off automatically. Now you can't, there's a glitch in the game where if you time it just right, you can turn them both on at the same time. And you get what this referred to in the community as the murder beam. I like it. Uh, it kind of, it, it glitches the game out something awful, but you basically kill everything in the room because you create a miniature black hole when you, when you shoot it. What? <laughs> Yeah. What does that look like? Um, there's videos of it on YouTube. I'm not going to do it because I've never been able to successfully pull it off. Okay. But if you, you can actually do, with with it done just right, you can also, there's a slight variation on it called the time beam. Uh, you do it in the in the final fight, fi the boss of the final, the fight with the final boss later. Uh, you activate it, and then you kind of, it kind of resets you back to Sarah's space station, but with all of your current items. So it's kind of like doing a new game plus. Yeah, okay, I, I have my 45, because they're still giving me super missiles, so we're good. Okay. Had me worried there for a bit. Uh, we just made a giant loop. You were worried. I'm the one keeping track of the list. How do you think I felt? Big giant Melting! loop. Melting! Melting! So remember I said I couldn't kill the puffers before? Yeah, not not the problem anymore. <laughs> nice plasma beam. Plasma beam. Like I said, huge power spike. It's probably a bigger power spike than the wave beam, but not by a whole lot, because at the time you get the wave beam, you have, like, no power at all. So we have two main bosses left? One. One main boss left. Yeah, because yes. I've beaten uh, Krayge, Fantoon, and Dragon in that order. Okay, that's right. So the last one, obviously, Ridley. <laughs> the greatest of them all. Oh, the I greatest mean. of them all. Oh, you have no idea how great he is in Super Metroid, but I will educate you when the time comes. <laughs> is he like a one-hit kill or something? Oh gosh, no. Oh gosh, no. Okay. Um, I probably will go through all of my super missiles in that fight. Yes. Ridley It'll is... actually be a fight, kind of. Ridley is, I think, my favorite character from the entire series. The so entire that was franchise. my last reserve tank I just picked up, by the way. Do you end up using those? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, uh, I could. I might. Hypothetically. So, we have hit 89%. Wow. And I think I'm just about done with Meridia, if memory serves. Uh, I don't know if there's uh, just about, Daniel. You're, uh, you it. You done. All right, so basically, I'm when I'm going to head back towards the elevator, the one elevator in and out of Norfair. It's the most disconnected area in the entire game. Um... Because there's like Meridia, there's like three ways in. Uh, Brinstar, there's a million ways in. Uh, Criteria, Wrecked Ship, all that. But Norfair, there's one way in or out. So we're going to split at the Norfair elevator. Missed. 
And that'll be it for this video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like nice. I said, we're just going to one shot Meridian. We're just going to go in and clean it up. <laughs> Man, I love it. So, All right. Any, any final thoughts? This was episode five? Episode five. We've we got seven, one more episode where or, we'll collect stuff. And then we have the ending. Yeah. And then may, maybe a bonus episode and to show off some, some fun stuff in the end. Put you through some steps or something. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right. We'll, uh, we'll be back soon with episode six. Hard to believe. All yes. right. See you then. Later. Bye.